Good morning, St. Thomas More. A few announcements from guidance for our grade 12 and 12 plus students. Kyle Cleveland from Niagara College will be coming to STM on Thursday, October the 13th during period two. His presentation will cover topics that include how to research university and college programs, how to apply to university and college, understanding the admission requirements for university and college programs, scholarship information, and so much more. If you are interested in attending, please sign up in guidance and have your period two teacher sign your permission slip. A reminder that the Mohawk College presentation is this Wednesday, October the 5th, during period one in the cafeteria. You will need to go to your period one class for attendance first, and then make your way down to the cafeteria. Please bring your signed permission slip. No slip, no presentation. Scholarship information is also now available in the guidance office for you to pick up. If you are interested in applying for the various scholarships, please ensure you meet the eligibility requirements and application deadlines. All this information can be found on the Grade 12 Guidance LMS page or by following STM Guidance on Instagram and Twitter. Have a great day, STM. September 28th was Rowan's Law Day, also known as Concussion Awareness Day. In March 2018, the Ontario government passed a law known as Rowan's Law, designed to protect athletes and to educate parents and guardians, coaches and officials about the dangers of head injuries. It is the first law of its kind in Canada and will also benefit both athletes and non-athletes. Rowan's Law is also about education. By increasing in concussion awareness and knowledge, we can change Ontario's culture around sports, physical activity and injury. Rowan's Law will make it easier for those who experience concussions to speak up and get the help they also need, and take time necessary for recovery, with the support of everyone around them. Concussions aren't always obvious. Signs and symptoms can take hours or even days to appear. Speak up about, speak up about a head injury and have it checked out. Students playing for sport teams must also inform their coaches if they have a concussion while playing in the sports leagues outside of school. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mike Evans and I'm a doctor and I've got three kids. Willa, Finn, and Angus, and they're like a lot of kids. They like to play sports. They're a bit accident prone. So why am I telling you this? Well, I wanted to talk to you about a thing that tends to happen to kids that uh, do play sports or have the, even just have the occasional accident. You've probably heard about it before because of a guy named Sidney Crosby or other famous people, and you see them on TV and they look fine. I mean, they aren't wearing casts or, or going for surgery, but they're telling you they're not fine. So today I wanted to talk to you about, you guessed it, concussions. Concussions 101. So let's start with the basics. What is a concussion? So a concussion is a knock on the head where you usually have some other stuff going on. So it could be a headache, confusion, blurry vision, feeling sick to your stomach, just or even just generally feeling weird. These are all signs that the brain's been disturbed a bit. You might even have gotten knocked out. And you don't have to lose consciousness to actually have a concussion. Um, but these are all things that can, can happen that shows that the brain's been disturbed. So, so what's different about a concussion? Well, I think three things. So firstly, the brain sits inside the skull. So when you smash it, it's actually most oftentimes protected. But sometimes if you hit it hard enough, the brain hits the inside of the skull and it can actually get bruised. And if you hit it hard enough, it can actually swing back or rotate and uh, get bruised on the other side of your brain. Secondly, when you twist your ankle or bang your knee, you might see some bruising or scrapes or swelling on the outside, but this isn't the case with your brain. It gets injured and nobody really knows. Thirdly, your brain is like mission control. It controls things like your balance, your mood, your sleep, your thinking, and your senses. So when it gets injured, there can be lots of things that can happen. So we discussed some of the classic ones before, like, uh, headaches or neck pain or balance problems or blurry vision. But you also might have some symptoms that you may not have felt before, like being in a fog, finding it hard to concentrate, feeling sad or, or having lots of anxiety or worrying more than usual. You may even have trouble sleeping um, or maybe even just you're more sensitive to light or noise or just other people. Also, your brain holds on to lots of different files or memories. And sometimes when your brain gets rocked a bit, 
it's like it's like a file cabinet that gets knocked over and the files get spilt onto the floor and thoughts get scrambled and sometimes the memory files just get lost so you might not even remember the accident or even that afternoon so now we know more about what a concussion is I want to get you to think about three other things so number one is we don't want to make things worse we know because the brain is hidden we can see if there's a fracture in your skull or a bleed, but we can't even we can't see a concussion even with some of the cool machines we have now, like CT scans or MRIs. And we know if you injure your brain before it is healed, things get much worse. So we follow a protocol, a kind of official procedure, and we call it return to activity. So what we want you to do is just start, and if you have no symptoms or no, none of the things that I talked about at rest, then you can kind of go on to the next stage. And, and you can go for some light exercise like a jog and if there's no problems there you can go on to um, if it was hockey you could uh, uh, go skating um, and then we allow you to be yellow shirted if there's no symptoms uh, so what that, I mean by that is that uh, you can participate in a practice but nobody can come into contact with you and then if that works out then you can go to a full contact practice and if that works out then you can return to play so Sidney Crosby has gone through all these stages and now we're just hoping that uh, he can hit the final stage which is return to play but if you have any symptoms or any problems with any of these levels you have to drop down to the level before and that's where you can get stuck sometimes um, so number two I wanted to talk to you about was it's very hard to know uh, how you will do so when you have a concussion it's important to know that with all the kind of negative news we've been hearing about concussions that actually 80 to 90 percent are back in four to six weeks the tricky part though is it's hard to tell at the beginning sometimes people have kind of a light injury and they have lots of problems and sometimes the reverse is true so like any other injury it can be a bit frustrating so you do have to prepare for the worst and hope for the best third point and my final point is about communication about talking with your parents teachers coaches trainers and friends because it's hard to see concussions people presume you're okay so you need to be upfront about how you're feeling things like being in a fog or being anxious can be hard to put a finger on so you don't need to dwell on it but you do need to be clear and honest about how you're feeling so take care of yourself if you have a concussion your brain is you everything you have got good at from riding a bicycle to playing soccer stored in there all your memories like a family trip or winning something are stored in there all your skills about figuring things out for school or or even in life are built into your brain so you want to keep them running like a Ferrari so make sure you're clear to return to activity keep positive and share any concerns or questions you have with the people that care about you and take care of that awesome brain of yours thanks Good morning, STN. My name is Joey. And I'm Mikeli, and here are your announcements for today. After school math tutoring will begin this week. Tutoring will run every Tuesday and Thursday from 2.45 to 4.15 in room 250. Please see Ms. Chirelli or Ms. Almeida in room 250 for a permission form. Reminder to all boys interested in playing senior basketball this year of our tryout tonight at 6 p.m. Make sure you pre-register. The sign-up sheet is located at room 325. Are you a swimmer interested in joining the STM swim team? If so, this announcement is for you. There will be a swim team info sign-up meeting after school this Wednesday, October 5th in room 312. That's right, swim team info sign-up meeting after school this Wednesday, October 5th, room 312. This meeting is mandatory for all prospective swimmers. See you there from coaches Tarqui um, Tarquicio, uh, Thurston, and Chenery. To all students interested in the STM Math Club, the first meeting will take place this Wednesday after school in Portable 3. All are welcome. Students looking for more information should see Mr. Castellani. Don't forget, Wednesday after school, be there and be is squared. Attention all United Harmony Vocal Ensemble members. There will be an important rehearsal today after school until 4.15 in room 128. See you all there. Thanks, STM. And have a great day. Good morning, STM. I'm Mason, your student council president. And I'm Rolla, your recording officer, and here are today's announcements. 
First off, we would like to acknowledge that yesterday, Sunday, October 2nd, was Custodian Appreciation Day. So this is a big thank you on behalf of the student body to all the custodians at our school. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. Tomorrow starts the first day of our Thanksgiving food drive nights. You have from Tuesday to Friday to bring in any canned food items to your first period class. Your class will earn points for every item brought in, and the class that earns the most points by this Friday will win a donut party provided by the student council. SCM, I'm so excited to announce that this Friday is going to be our first Feel Good Friday. What are Feel Good Fridays, you may be asking? Well, it's a day where we will be doing a small activity or event that gets the student body involved with the student council to hopefully spread some positivity and good energy throughout the school. To kick off Feel Good Fridays in the proper STM way, we have food trucks coming in for this week's food football game. We got an ice cream truck, a funnel cake truck, a Jamaican patty truck, and so much more for everyone to enjoy. Make sure you're following us on Instagram and TikTok at STM underscore council so you're not missing any news or updates on these upcoming events. Thanks STM, have a great day. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.25. You know what? Have a great day.